Hello, hello, this is a quick guide to the Mars Battleground Grandmaster Nightfall. This Grandmaster Nightfall has Anti-Barrier and Unstoppable Champions, also Solar Threat, so make sure you've got the Solar Resist mods on. It is Strand and Void Surge this week with Overcharged Machine Gun. Now, for characters, I'm bringing an Invis Hunter with Tether, uh, with Wish End of Anti-Barrier and uh, Unstoppable Fusion Rifle. We have Luminata bringing a Solar Warlock with similar loadout. Bow, fusion, machine gun, uh, with Phoenix Protocol to try and spam the wells with the number of adds that we're getting. Should be able to get lots of wells, and boss is bringing a Stormcaller Warlock with the Vesper of Radius to try and do the blinding rift and disorientate all the enemies with a similar loadout as well. Now there's a trick here at the start of the GM to despawn or not spawn any extra enemies, and we can capture zone C and B basically for free with our adds stopping the capture at all so the very first trick to do that is don't kill any of the enemies at all at the start here so all the thrall that are running at you and the acolytes that are spawning and all those kind of things just make sure you run past them obviously if you have an invis hunter it can help make that a little easier but just be careful don't want to throw any grenades i remember a couple of seasons ago when this was a gm we had someone running a lawly uh, titan and that kind of messed it up as well. Because if they got hit by the thrall, the lolly would get set off. And we're just going to run to the left, down towards C. Now things are chasing us, but it's okay. What we can do here is we can shoot the gunk that's blocking C and then we're just going to go to the left over here and hide. I find C to be one of the worst ones actually with all the Axion Dart taken enemies. So just come back here team and just go hide here. So yeah with all the Axion Dart dudes I find C really annoying. So if we do this trick here we shouldn't get any extra enemies. And that should be able to just complete capture super easily. You can see the, the bars just filling. We're not getting any of the extra enemy spawns, none of the taken spawns. So we haven't killed anything from the start at all. Now we can do a similar thing with zone B, except we do have to kill a couple of enemies. Two specific acolytes for zone B. Uh, we'll go stand on the zone. We're allowed to kill those two acolytes only. And then as long as we don't kill anything else, it'll basically work the same. As you can see, there we go. C is done. You are going to get the big knight to spawn now. You can just ignore him for now. We're going to shoot the gunk on B, not killing any of the adds. Alright. Now, when that's coming up, it's going to be a couple of acolytes. A couple of thrall and acolytes. So we can kill those thrall that are on there. And then there'll be a couple of acolytes later as well. I'm just going to go forward to try and get a better angle on them. There we go. Should start capping, and then I think the acolytes will come out. There's the acolytes. Alright, there we go. That should be it. Don't need to kill anything else now. Now B should just continue capture. So a quick way to get those two zones over and done with without having to worry about many of the ads. Now you do have to do A the old fashioned way. We're going to have to kill a whole bunch of stuff first as well like this knight. Just because we want to get him out of the way while we're capturing. So there we go B's done. All the enemies are going to kind of run towards A now. So. I like taking it from the building angle though, that way we can get the high ground. So we're just going to run all the way around. Now some of the ads can you know, jump on this building here. But I just find being back here is a bit safer.
Now don't forget, once we start capturing A, very important that we take out the Death Tongue, the Acolyte that spawns. If you don't take him out quickly enough, the Shriekers will spawn and all the enemies will get over shields and stuff. So we want to take out all the Knights that we can first now, just so there's less enemies bothering us when we start capturing. Because none of these enemies right now respawn. And we don't get any more waves until we actually start it. We'll just take our time taking them all out. There's one behind me, but it's gone. So that might be it. And start destroying this. And we're gonna go straight for the acolyte. The boss has his blinding rift, should help. Used to use strand on this guy, so if you do have strand shackle things will still work well, although shackle grenades were nerfed, so. They're not as good anymore. Now we just need to capture and hold the zone here. There should be an unstoppable ogre that spawns. We did uh, skip some of the champions, by the way, on the other zones. That's okay. As long as they don't spawn, you can skip enemies. It's if they spawn and then despawn later without killing them. That can be a problem. All these unstoppables. All we need to do is just keep the adds off the zone. If you're struggling at it, you can take your time. There's no like big rush on it. But obviously, quicker just means you don't have to be here as long. Make sure you grab that heavy box, because there are a lot of heavy boxes in this game. You can feel free to spam your heavy. There's another heavy box in this room up here as well. More before the boss. So, in this GM it's pretty safe to just spam your heavy. I've got two more champions here, unstoppable and an anti-barrier. Now, supposedly, they've reduced the number of enemy spawns in this GM. I uh, don't know which section exactly, but it could be here. I'm going to try and defend and not let them capture. If you're having trouble just defending this point and it's causing a lot of deaths, the safest part to go to is up there on the balcony and try and like take out the enemies from there. However, the adds do uh, respawn quite often. You do have to kind of eventually take a more aggressive strategy, unless the... Uh, patch that they did today has reduced the spawn rate significantly then Yeah, so far it doesn't seem like there's that many spawning We do have to be careful though. There will be a couple of champions later and a big ogre There's an unstoppable and empty barrier Another ogre. Uh, buff dude. He can stop the scan, so we kind of want to take him out. Also, you do have to be careful. I found. If you're hanging too far back in here, I found the unstoppables 
in the past have teleported behind me. You do have to kind of watch out for that as well. I've seen any other champions, uh, but they did stop the scan, unfortunately. There was an anti barrier behind this. Ah, oh, okay. It's actually good that it didn't finish then. We can get the anti barrier. Yeah, as you can see, boss is kind of safe over here. There's uh, a couple of exploders behind you, though, boss. Really, really close. <laughs> That's the only danger. <laughs> I think the anti barriers are behind me, so go get them another. Uh, but the ads do usually respawn, so we don't have long before they respawn again. And here they go. So we just need to kill the anti barrier. I'm pretty sure we're at like 90% or something on the scan. You have to make sure you actually interact with it. There's another big ogre. Should be good. Nice work, thanks for the carry. Yeah, we could have all gone up to the balcony a bit sooner. I was trying to wait to get Luminata's res. We it had that. Uh, that barrier was there for a long time. Yeah, I didn't know he teleported behind us. I just mentioned as well the unstop can teleport behind. And then the anti barrier did it to us. Unlucky. But you can, like, slowly capture it when you start getting. You know, the big ogres spawning and stuff like that. Go up to the balcony, clear them out, go back down. And do it a lot slower than we did. Definitely is safer that way. If you want to go for a safer strat. Uh, you can just run around the normal way. I just jump up here. Because it's slightly quicker. But if you miss the jump and you don't make it up, uh, you can die falling down. So, you know, if you're not comfortable jumping up like that, just go around the normal way. It takes like five more seconds. Not that big of a deal. Uh, we're going to have a couple more empty barriers in here though. The ship's going to drop them off. We get one down here and there'll be one up there. Second one already. You don't need to save your heavy. As long as you get the laser core part done up here, you'll get another heavy box. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our team kind of defending the middle from all the ads spawning behind us. Uh, I'm just going to grab the laser cores. Should only need two, as long as they don't waste any of it. Trying to be careful, so I don't need a third one. Now, to get this one, 
Just jump onto the, the platform, ride your way up. I'll go this side because I just find it easier. Pretty sure that side has some enemies to kill. So as long as you do it in two, do the core from up there, you can get this one. And actually get this one twice as well. If you screw up and, then, and need a third core, don't go to the left side, just come back here. Because you can re-pick up the same one, it'll respawn. The top one doesn't respawn, but the one that I just grabbed will respawn. As soon as I empty it. Okay. But you can see it's charging, it means it's going to respawn again. Uh, these guys should despawn, uh, despawn you. Now they can spam heavy and supers and everything while they're defending the middle. Uh, because we get full heavy here. And we're actually going to get our supers as well when we start this encounter. Now there's a couple of cheese spots in here. Um, there's the little indents on the right one, but the left one are a bit better. Because they're more protected from the adds. So you can jump up into this little spot here on this side. I think you can just fit three people if one's in the back and two on each side. I think boss would be able to stand over here, yeah. Yeah, you'd be able to fit all three. It's just kind of tight. You do have to be a bit careful. Having three together though means that you can do more damage to the boss. It goes a little faster. So this way we can kind of ignore the enemies. I'm just going to bait the boss over to us. So we want to get him like over here. There we go. You can either use whatever you got for damage. All you're trying to do is get him to half health. It does take a while, but I mean now you don't have to worry about any of the enemies. I can't shoot him at all. I'm just looking. <laughs> yeah, that's the one one danger too many people up here and yeah if you struggle fitting everyone up here again someone could just go hide on the the right hand side instead there's another kind of safe spot from the ads no, I can try and move out a little bit just don't push me off Uh, the dangerous part though is right now, when he gets his shield, we have to get to the middle and there's an unstoppable and an anti-barrier, as well as now we're getting all the adds spawning as well. So this is honestly the dangerous part and the boss will still push us. The boss is slowly walking, but if you're not careful we can sneak up behind you. You can see he's slowly walking up now. There we go. That's the champ's dead. Now we just need to dunk the balls. Uh, might want to let me do it. Just drop it. I'll end this. <laughs> just here, this is the dangerous part of you standing at your dunk spot. Having an Invis Hunter is handy. Now each time you dunk, you do get adds respawning. We probably want to try and stick together. Take out another knight. And I can run it in.
Do have to be careful though, see the bosses slowly walking towards us so we can swap sides. Let's completely run to the other side, where he's not. There is a ball over there if you can get it. Oh, okay. Oh. That's unlucky. He cannot get it. <laughs> All the ads ran at me, I didn't see them. Now there's a wizard and a knight in the middle. Gotta be careful of the boss though. Gonna be creeping up behind us already. We can't stay in this well. He's going to be on the point. Not careful. Boss duped it. <laughs> if you know the time, you can dupe the orb. You have to actually drop it like a second before you dunk it. Almost. Ah, uh, we can run back now. I didn't explain duping it though. Bad idea, he's running across. Oh, he's right here. Right, oh, watch out. He's gonna slam. How is he not slamming? Oh, Luminata's DC. Hello. Hi. Yep. <laughs> My screen got like standing beside him. <laughs> that was really bad timing, yeah. I thought he was going to slam and kill both of us, <laughs> so I was in this. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, but yeah, now, you can just kill him. Once you're back in the spot, you finish all the dunks, you get back in the spot, he's there. It's GG. Just waste all your ammo. That's a quick Mars Battleground Grandmaster Nightfall. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more. Special thanks to our channel members City and Burnt Toast for their continued support.